Time to touch the sea. I did it. This is us, turning the city of Liverpool into a giant game. Nothing like a lovely summer's day jog. For this game, we have a time limit of six hours to complete a wide array of pre-organized challenges set around the entire city region. I am so bad at identifying cars, I have no idea. Each individual challenge completion gives a reward of a certain number of points, and our goal is to garner as many points as possible within the allotted time. Welcome to the Scouse Scavenge. It is 11 o'clock. Time starts now. No, how dare you be faster than us? So I should probably explain some of our game plan from here. So we've begun in the city centre of Liverpool, and right next to our starting point is a statue of the Beatles, which gets us six points for the challenge, come together, walk amongst the Beatles statues. This also gets us one point for a four-part challenge, the famous four. Take a photo of four Beatles, an animal, the band, a car, and a drawing. Right, thank you Beatles statue. Right, so we're relying on you for most of the plan. You've made the entire thing. So where are we going to first? We're going to... James Street to get the 11-12 train towards West Kirby. All right. Gonna get up at Mel's. Gonna get to Mel's for reasons that will be made clear shortly. Insert elevator music here. <laughs> which platform is it? That one? Um, which way are we going? That way. West, okay. West Kirby, yeah. West Kirby, yeah, that'll be down here. So this train goes to New Brighton. Um, we were hoping for a West Kirby service, but it's not the end of the world because there are a couple of bonus goals that we can get from Birkenhead North if we get out there, which we would need to change to the West Kirby line anyway. And there's Hamilton Square, which means we've now passed underneath the Mersey with rail, which is one of the two we'll need to do for another challenge, which involves crossing the Mersey with road and rail. Mersey crossings. Cross the River Mersey by both road and rail. Right, Birkenhead North. Now, there might be a couple of things we can get for points here. We'll have to just double check. Yep, knew it. Trio and save away sign. Extra points there. So we got the trio and save away and we actually got out here. So that's an extra six points just for getting out here. Hang on, so what do I mean by those additional points? Well, one more thing to mention is that in addition to the main challenges, there are also additional challenges, such as a point for every station you get on or off a train at, or five points per photo of a trio and save away sign that you'll have just seen a moment ago. These challenges can be done repeatedly. Let's go. Good stuff. God. The next West Kirby service is six minutes late, which means we are not going to have enough time at Mel's station to do what we need to do there. So we're going to end up being offset by 15 minutes by that delay. Unless, like, the gods will delay the train we need to get out of there, but I'm really doubting it here. Are there any beetles around here by any chance? We're just looking now, and we found a ladybird, which are apparently classified as a type of beetle. I don't know. That, that, that could count. Maybe? I know two thirties at the depot right now. No, no, no! Don't do that. There's one. There's one. We're good. We're good. Nice. Okay, here we are at Mel's. Let's get out of here. So Mel's is a new station, and also true and save away sign. That's another six points to the total. Right. Yes. Uh huh. Get that, yeah. Get a water, sure. Meals on wheels. Transport a meal from Mel's to Meals Cop train stations, or vice versa. Where are they? Take, just take that, yeah, sure. And snack. snack. Where are the snacks? Cheese strings, sure. Cheese strings, sure. sure, that works. So in an amazing twist of fate, we might actually have been quick enough to get the uh, four minute change, possibly. I cannot believe we made that. We are so back. <laughs> right, so, uh, let's transport this meal to uh, Meals Cop. <laughs> Meals on Wheels. I do actually wonder how many points, like, some teams could have got by, you know, just 
ticking off stations and finding Trio and Save Away posters. Because you get Not one point for each station yeah. ticked off, either, so you've got to get off one on a different train. Um, and oh no. five points for the Trio and Save Away photo for each, each photo of it. So that's like basically six points for each station that you have one. I don't know. That's that could have been the way to go, but mm, we're doing some of the longer twenty-point challenges, which means hopefully, like, hopefully they'll help us out. Yeah. We appear to be on some escalators that are not escalating. They're just they're just fancy-looking stairs. I think there might have been some flooding or something. My legs are not liking that. Ugh. Right, Northern Line. We've just missed a train, but it's for Headbolt Lane, not Southport. We're good. Oh my word, it's the pet. But not only that, it's the six car as well. I did not think I was going to ride these again. Holy moly. It's like 45 minutes to Southport yeah, on this train, isn't it? About that. Oh, we can, I guess we can scheme in this time or something, I have no idea. And scheme we did. So our plan from here on is to head to Southport, which we think is going to be a gold mine for completing multiple high point challenges. And remember Meals Cop from the Meals on Wheels challenge? That station's only one further down the line from Southport. So it seems like a no-brainer. We have got a challenge that involves drawing a beetle, or at least finding a drawing of a beetle. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see if uh, that drawing one counts. Thank God for the uh, S pen. <laughs> Look at these skills at play right now. It's so hard to draw on this. It's, no. <laughs> it's not an ideal canvas, but I mean, hopefully it'll do, I don't know. Ah, beetle. Beetle. Let's, let's hope, I hope that counts. We'll see. I'm constantly looking out for cars as well, in case we come across any Volkswagen Beetles, as that's sort of the last piece of the puzzle between the four different types of Beetle. Um, but I'm not that much of a car nut, so I don't really know how to identify one easily. <laughs> I mean, it's going to kind of scupper me then. So I initially planned for us to have an hour and a half-ish to in Southport, in which we walk down to the beach. On, on the way, we go to an arcade and buy some rock. So, and it's probably that it's about 50 minutes worth of walking. So I gave us a bit extra time, but it's a half hour service. So if we do want that in an hour, we can make the earlier train, which gives us half an hour extra to play with at the end to get extra points. Okay, Southport Station is not too far away, so we're going to be basically, I assume, immediately heading out and... Heading uh, towards the sea. By, yes, touching the sea. Grass is not enough. I need to touch the sea. Visit a beach and touch the seawater at one of the beaches on the northern or Wirral lines of Mersey Rail. Now we're really quite lucky because I'm not sure if you know, but Southport is quite known for having a very, very, very far out tide when the tide is out. Like, hundreds of metres, even like a mile out. But, by sheer luck, we are basically pulling in right as tide is peaking at high. So, that was, that was very well timed. <laughs> Thanks, Pep. Great. Time to go and touch the sea. Yep. Thank you. I'm looking around for a, an old sign, but I don't think there's any around here. So Southport, yeah. Great. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Is there is there a rock shop on the way? Well, so there's a, there's a two rock shops on the way. Hopefully one of them's open. And we're also yeah. stopping up at a amusement thing to do to win a prize for one of the challenges. So yeah. Right, right. they sell rock here. It should be good. Ferrying rock. Acquire a stick of rock from the seaside and take a photo of it at Rock Ferry train station. We'll just get a small mint yeah. rock. You're gonna, you're gonna do the honours? Mint rock, please. Just the one. Yes, please. Do you take card? We do, but it's available for £2. Can we have another one then? Is that going through? Yeah. yeah, thank you. We are definitely not stripped for choice of places for amusements, that's for sure. It is so busy though, because it's a sunny day and it's a Saturday, so yeah, there's a lot of people around. Spend a penny, make a penny. Win any prize at an arcade. So our arcade game of choice 
is a two-piece slot machine. If we win any coins, then that's the challenge complete. Oh. Not yet. Oh. No. No, no coins yet. Okay, we'll get some here. more. Right, got 50p. Right. One full. You're done. Okay. Right. Do you, you do again. this, you do this. Go, 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 go. See if I can do it. Oh, Ooh, that's it. That's it. There we go. We got one, we got one. We got one. We okay. won a prize at an arcade. Leave the rest here. We don't All want right. them. All right, we'll leave these here for yep. Whoever someone wants else right, to let's use. Go. Right, mission accomplished. Right. The, uh, oh, the pier's closed. Forgot about that. We'll have to go around something, I think. There it is. There's the sea. We really are knocking out our tasks a lot quicker than we anticipated for Southport so far. So, I mean, we might be able to get an earlier train, which will put us ahead of schedule, which yeah, is great. Yeah, and then we can get off at Waterloo on the way back to, to complete another yeah. task. Another challenge, which I'll probably explain in voiceover at some point. Yeah, is that a, no. Damn it, that's a Fiat. I am so bad at identifying cars, I have no idea. This sucks. Oh, perfect, perfect. The tide is so in right now. Brilliant. Time to touch the sea. I did it. Challenge complete. Back to Southport Station. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> there's nothing else we can do here, I don't think. Other than No, I think we have to go to Meals Cop now. So we think if we jog, we might actually be able to get the service before the service before. That would be us an hour, an hour ahead. Of ahead. That would be great. That would be insane. Right, we're back. I don't know if we're here in time. There is a train there. That is hopeful. Wait, no. No. Oh. It, it's cancelled. Seriously? <laughs> no. Well, we've got half an hour to kill here now. I don't know what we're going to do with that. I'm surprised at all the stock they've got here. They've got the little wooden trains and the new Lego ones. And looks like as well, like a Rubik's Cube, but for, like, that's funny. Nice. Thank you. Right, we've got the 1405 to Oxford Road as our next option. That should hopefully be all right. Oh, bring for you. I've got ice cream. <laughs> we got some ice cream from the shop. I think we were slightly unfortunate in the fact that we just barely missed a uh, Merseyrail service. We could have gone to maybe like Hillside. I mean, I didn't check if it would have been possible, but we could have gone to like Hillside. And double back. Extra and point for station, getting the station. Yeah. And maybe a trio and save away sign. I don't know if there was one at Hillside, but. Yeah, I think we would have had to go a lot faster than we did, which I'm already exhausted from that <laughs> yeah. run. There has to be some sort of festival going on because the trains to Southport are so busy and full of people in I guess, I don't know, unusual? Festival dress? outfits. Sort of, yeah, like festival sort of dress. And I've definitely heard a few people yeah. saying, oh, like, as if they're going to a festival. I yeah. don't know. The sort of mood, like festival <laughs> mood. We've got something like 20 minutes till this train leaves and not really anything we can do to get points. So, kind of just sitting here, contemplating life. Little rest. She wants to be she? Meals cops, like, I don't know three minutes away. It's round the corner. It's very close to Southport Station. So when we get to Meals Cop, we have 36 minutes to do a 45 minute walk going via the British Lawnmower Museum to get an extra 15 points and getting on at Birkdale. Cut above the rest. Visit the British Lawnmower Museum. Yeah, so that's gonna be. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how that run. goes. Yeah. Right there we go. Meal deal at Meals Cop. Meals on wheels. Oh hello. hello. We've run into another team. Hello. Bye. Hello. Bye. Bye. Off to Birkdale for us. Nothing like a lovely summer's day jog to Birkdale Station. I'm trusting your map skills here. You're I'm, the one holding it. I'm trusting Google Maps. Yeah. Google Maps shouldn't do as dirty here, I hope. I really do hope we're able to make this train in time. I mean, it's not, it's not the end of the world if we don't, but still, it would be cool. I'd like to sort of maintain this lead against the uh, schedule we have.
Well, 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 that sure was a video. Gosh, are we going to make it to Birkdale in time? Who knows? <laughs> but thank you for watching to the end of this video. This has been a hell of a time to edit. Um, yeah, I've put a lot of effort into this video, so uh, if you did enjoy, a subscribe, a like, comment would all be greatly appreciated. Hope you stick around for part two. And uh, yeah, that's all I really have to say. To be continued. And then, of course, a massive shout out to all of my patrons and channel members who are listed on screen now. Thank you all so, so, so much for making all these videos possible. You're amazing.